Hi, it's Joy Carosa with The Modern Unicorn. Um, today I'm going to do a very simple uh, superfood salad. So it's more of a concept than a you know, specific recipe because you want to use um, what you like, but I'm just going to go through some of the different elements that I like to use to build this salad. So the base of the salad is a uh, cooked kamut. Um, it's a grain. You can also substitute, uh, it's an ancient grain. You could also substitute other ancient grains like um, quinoa or farro or you know whatever you'd like, but couscous maybe. But um, it's a salad and it, it's nice because it, it can be served cold or room temperature. So it's an ideal salad to bring to a party when we start all gathering again, which I think will be soon. But, um, you know, oftentimes, you know, you go to a party and say, like for me, I try to avoid meat and dairy. And it's difficult to do that when you, you know, are at someone's house and, you know, people, different people bring different things. So I like to, um, volunteer to bring something that I know that I can eat. So anyway, I started bringing this salad to parties and I really, really like it. So I'm just going to show you the elements that I'm putting in here and then you um, make it your own. So um, I'm starting off with kamut and it cooks uh, much like rice. And um, I actually made it in my, in my rice cooker, but you can do it on the stove as well. So I'm just going to Pour that in there and I love using this kamut because it's kind of it's a bigger size than quinoa and it's kind of got this really nice nutty chewy texture to it and um, so I really like using that um, some of the other elements that I'm going to put in here some of the other ingredients I have some kale uh, I, I want to use kale as a versus like a you know romaine or a different kind of lettuce uh, because it's really hearty. It's going to hold up for a long period of time. This again, this salad is great to bring to a party because it doesn't have any dairy in it, any cheese or anything that can go bad. So it can sit out for hours and, and, and be totally safe. Um, so we've got some kale. I have, I love putting, um, toasted nuts in particular, um, these macadamia nuts are really, really good in salad. They add a great uh, crunch to it. And I also have uh, some garbanzo beans, some chickpeas for some protein. A little bit of crunch from some red cabbage. I love the brininess of the... Um, roasted red peppers. This was just out of a jar. And this was also out of a jar. This is uh, some Kalamata olives. And also some hearts of palm. Now, I put a tiny bit of onion. Re minced really, really fine. Some red onion. But do you see how little I put in there? Just want the flavor of that um, and not have it be overpowering. Okay, got some pumpkin seeds and some hemp hearts. So all great superfoods. And uh, again, it's a, this also makes a great side dish for dinner. Uh, it's a great snack or a really complete lunch. This looks pretty on its own. Look at how I, I love using all the different colors and texture. Um, it, it's such a great salad and it's really a crowd pleaser. Okay, so um, I'm going to make a sort of a basic vinaigrette and then add to it. So a basic vinaigrette is three parts uh, oil to one part uh, vinegar. So the oil I'm going to use is an extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to use um, a aged balsamic vinegar. So let's see, I'll do use a quarter cup here. So 
So and so you can substitute. You can use uh, a rice wine vinegar. You can use a red wine vinegar. You can use a um, apple cider vinegar. And we're just going to do that three to one ratio. Okay, so I have my basic. You can see how it's. Um, I haven't mixed it yet, but. Um, so that's kind of like, you know, you could throw that right on there, but let's add a little bit to that to make it just a, a little bit more flavorful. Okay, one thing I'm gonna add is a little sweetness, and this is a local honey, and not much, but I will just add, uh, if this wants to come out, maybe just a teaspoon or so, just to get that sweetness. And then um, I will add one of my favorite ingredients of all time. It's the Your Super Super Green Superfood Mix. And I'll put a link down below on how to get this. But I try to eat, I have something green in every single meal. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and then if I can't, you can make little shots of this. Almost like, you know, a little wheatgrass shot. It does have wheatgrass in it. And it mixes really well, but I love to put it in these um, salad dressings. So I'm going to do that. It's kind of a lot of dressing. So I'm going to put two heaping teaspoons of that. This is great. Perfect for smoothies. I put it on everything that I can. Okay. So all good things. Uh, wheatgrass, barley grass, um, it's got moringa, spirulina, voila. Anyway, I've got my trusty little um, whisk here, my mini whisk. I just want to get that honey incorporated in there. And it's just beautiful. Now this is probably too much for this, but you can save this. That will but put it in a jar and use it on your next salad. So, um, I'm going to drizzle this over to my desired, oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna use all of it. And then I'm gonna do my salt and pepper because then I can adjust that once I mix it and taste it. Okay. So important to kind of um, pick things that are going to have crunch, a lot of flavor, the acidity, but then the honey balances that. Um, things that are going to be hearty and hold up, like the, the kale, I cut it really into small pieces. And then you can taste and adjust. But again, substitute whatever you like. I have a friend that hates olives, so if I make this and bring it over to her house, I'll make a little pile for her, a little batch for her, and then add the olives to the rest of it. Or if someone's got a nut allergy, put it on the side. But toasted macadamia nuts are amazing in any salad if you can tolerate them. Okay. Hearts of palm, give it that, it almost looks like cheese. But look at how pretty that's like a rainbow of colors and it's so healthy for you all right i'm gonna grab a spoon and taste this salt mm. it's so good that little tiny sweetness from the honey is really really good a little bit of a little bit more salt and pepper and then the other thing that I will add. Now, this is sort of precious. So this is the Forever Beautiful Super Food Mix. Also by YourSuper.com. It's got chia seeds and acai, acerola. And um, this has, it's not super sweet, but it will add a little bit of sweetness. If you don't want to add this to bring to a party, this is precious stuff, um, you know, but sprinkle a little bit of that on too. Oh my gosh. Talk about a healthy salad. <clears throat> okay. So, so I used Kamut. You can try this with quinoa. Kamut though has about 
four times the amount of protein and fiber than quinoa, just, you know, if that's important to you. But this is a great, complete meal in itself, and it's filling too. All right, I hope you'll try it. Thanks.